Hey guys, Enrique here and welcome to this quick After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a BFX breakdown which is very useful when you want to show the layers of the effects that you applied in your own projects. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Enrique, video editor, videographer, and photographer. If you want to see more of this kind of videos, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you will be updated with my upcoming videos. You may also comment if you have questions or any suggestions. Okay guys, let's get started. As you can see here, these are the footages that we're gonna work on. This one is our main footage, the before footage which has no effects applied. Next is the cloud layer, our dark cloud with thunder footage, a layer for our sky replacement. Next is our without sky layer, which is the main footage with the sky remove. Next layer is our night effect, our rain effect layer, and then our color grade layer. Now, we're gonna hide the effect layers and our cloud layer. Next, highlight all the layers by pressing Ctrl A on the keyboard and then press U to hide all the keyframes. With all the layers selected, go to the middle part of the timeline, go to edit, and split all the layers. Bring down the splitted layers by pressing Ctrl plus open bracket on the keyboard. Next, move the time indicator one frame to the right by pressing Ctrl plus right arrow on the keyboard. Go to edit, and split the layers, then bring down the splitted layers. Now, go to the layers on the center, select the without sky and cloud footage, and click pre-compose. I'll rename this layer as after, and then OK. Select all the layers on the center, go to Time, and Freeze Frame. Drag the layers to the right to prolong the duration of these frozen layers. I'll cut these layers, then put these layers next to frozen layers. Next, select the after layer, go to effect, transition, then linear wipe. For the transition completion, I'll make it uh, 100%. I'll make this wipe angle negative 90 so that it reveals the cloud from left to right. Put the time indicator at the start of the layer, then create a keyframe of the transition completion. Move the time indicator 3 frames forward, then change the value of the transition completion into 0. As you can see, we have now our sky replacement effect. Next, go to the night layer, click the eye icon on the left to reveal the layer. Press P on the keyboard to show its position property. Create a position keyframe at the end of the sky replacement keyframe. Drag the position of the night layer to the left until it is no longer visible on the frame. Move the time indicator 3 frames forward, then drag the position of the night layer until it covers the entire frame. Next, reveal the rain layer. Press P on the keyboard to show its position property. Create a position keyframe at the end of the night effect keyframe. Drag the position of the rain layer to the left until it is no longer visible in the frame.
move the time indicator 3 frames forward, then drag the position of the rain layer until it covers the entire frame. Next, reveal the color grade layer, press P on the keyboard to show its position property. Create a position keyframe at the end of the rain effect keyframe. Drag the position of the color grade layer to the left until it is no longer visible on the frame. Move the time indicator 3 frames forward, then drag the position of the color grid layer until it covers the entire frame. As you can see, our BFX breakdown now looks good. Next, go to our layers on the right side, then reveal all the layers by clicking the eye icon on the left side. See? Our BFX breakdown now looks better. Next, select the after layer and click the solo icon on the left. Next, we will create a shape layer. To do that, deselect all the layers, click the rectangle tool with no fill setting, then drag it on the after layer until it covers the entire frame. Next, go to the shape layer and I'll rename it as after line. I'll put it above the after layer by pressing Ctrl plus open bracket on the keyboard. Next, press P on the keyboard to show its position property. Drag the position of the shape layer to the left until it is no longer visible on the frame. Create a position keyframe at the start of the shape layer, move 2 frames forward to reveal the after layer, then drag the position of the shape layer to the right until it fits with the edge of the after layer. Move a few frames forward, then again drag the position of the shape layer to the right until it fits with the edge of the after layer. I'll do this until the after layer and the shape layer fills the entire frame. For the next step, I'll just repeat the process that I did in the first shape layer. The length process will depend on how much effects you have in your footages. And that's it! And that's all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful. Please subscribe if you like this video or thumbs up. See you on the next video.